do anything I want. Try to make some magic. <clears throat> yes. Sir. Um. Hi, everyone. Can you make some magic? <laughs> Here's the thing. Okay, um, you're good. You all remember doing the cloth boards and stuff like that, right? Now, Shitari was playing <laughs> with a orb, and accidentally he found a perfect way to get a super flat panel uh, uh, curve, and you can use it for an almost anything. And what I'm going to do is show you guys how to make one, and I'm going to show some stuff, some ideas I got where we're going to use it for. And um, uh, the cool thing is it almost doesn't artifact. The main thing is you start off with an orb. I'll start with a one of 60 voxels. Just paste it down. <clears throat> Nothing yeah. special about this. And it doesn't have to be even or odd or anything like it doesn't that? doesn't matter. Nope. There there are no restriction or uh, of creating the actual uh, uh, orb. Okay. Now here's the second step. Select the top part of it and try to select a nice curved part. And again, it doesn't matter how uh, how much curve there is, because what we are going to do is select this top part. Now here's the trick: don't use your delete key on your keyboard. Use the delete tool. Okay. And just delete the top part. As you can see, we have the top part deleted. Now here's where the magic happens. Select just one layer of that top you've just cut off. Okay. Copy it. And we'll place it over here. Paste it. And paste it again, one voxel underneath it, without air. Now, as you can see, it has created this little edge, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm going to do, I'll paint it so you guys actually see what just happened. Let me get my paint tool a little smaller, because it's still at 60, of course. Period. Yeah, there we go. If I paint this... You'll see that I'm only painting the actual edge. See? Okay. Now it was a <coughs> 60, 60 warp, right? Mm hmm. So this should be a quarter of it. Now, if you copy and paste this. It's that simple. You can start on the other side, uh, Tema, so you can we can get the shape out real quickly. Just selected one voxel at a time. That is weird. I've never noticed this. No, indeed. I have never notice that I'm being dead serious I have never noticed this I was amazed how plain simple it was holy crap dude and the I'm, cool thing I'm is, getting some overlapping of pieces, but uh, yeah, and that's a good thing because that that's the part where you actually get when you <coughs> sorry <coughs> whoa um, that's the main problem we had with the cloth boards. It was a bit square, right? Yeah. At some angles, you had a little cut in the pair in in the cloth work, and now you don't have any any cut whatsoever wow dude i have never yeah wow <laughs> i was just as, as, as amazed as you that freaking blows my mind dude now the cool part is trust me this is a clean voxel you can do with 
whatever you want to do with it, except about uh, you can't smooth it. If you smooth it, it's 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 messed up. But why would you want to smooth a perfect cylinder, right? Yeah, let me go ahead and get this whole side done, I guess. Oh, you just need one quarter. Okay. Well, okay. Because if I select this quarter... You did a 60, so it should be a 30 by 30, right? Or no, actually it's well, less it's than smaller. that. Because you yeah. only took the top part. Yes. <clears throat> I got you. Uh, I need to make this one smaller. 22 by 22. Now watch this. And there we go. Wow, that's uh, ah, I, no, gotta, I, gotta, I don't know if anyone watches the brew crew a lot. Oh, that I got an idea. Now then again, this wasn't this wasn't possible when they didn't make the changes between the delete to and the delete uh, uh, delete key on your keyboard. Uh -huh. Keep that in mind. Trying to get this thing lined up here, but uh... yeah, I did that. I uh, I tweeted <laughs> it out. If you line it up perfectly, it won't even jag out the other one. It is if I can get it lined up perfectly. <laughs> <coughs> Go up one. All right, am I centered? No, one more. I'm on it. I think I'm on it. No, yep. it doesn't look like I'm on it over here. Just one more up, I think. Or am I wrong? Yeah, you need. I to I know what it was. Hold up. It's this way. I think that's fairly close right there. Let me try that. Yep. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. That's now, uh I'll show you how clean it is cuz um I like the ships uh, Ivana did and uh, I think it was about a few days ago uh, uh, the brew crew were at her place and she has a, a load of ships really a load with sails and stuff like that and here's one of the cool things I want to show you guys how clean it is if you get your deletion tool and line it up with the actual voxel wall I created here from just a single cloth ring mm -hmm. And I cut it and use my deletion tool. And it would fit flat up against a cylinder. That's, exactly. Uh, that's pretty cool. Still did pretty cool on, on that one section there. Yeah, you can do... Oh. There we go. Well, I didn't line it up. I'm sorry. It's still cutting pretty good for the most part. Yeah, it is. Except for it when is. you get to a, a really thin section no, I, I I cut it uh, really thin this this morning without any problems I think it's the fact that I didn't line up my uh, delete tool properly yeah I'm, I'm not lining it up properly but, st but still the the possibilities for this is pretty good but, I mean yeah. the stuff that you can do with that is pretty awesome 
Let me get that little jaggy up here away as well. So you can actually see what I'm trying to do here. Wow, dude. That's pretty awesome. See, you got a little sail now. Now, if you hadn't deleted the circle over here, we could have taken that circle from over here and just kept stacking it vertical and paste this into the side of that circle. Go for it. And would have been uh, kind of keen there. Let me copy uh, this section here. Right, and this is what just I tweeted out here today. I made a little kite. <laughs> Give me a second. I'll pan over there so everybody can see that. We'll get a copy of this. And well, again, all the all the props go to Shatari. He's the one who found it. Who found it, and um, he's the one who teached me it. Um, I'm just here to spread the message with Temo. That's pretty awesome. It really is awesome. This is definitely going up on YouTube, guys, because, uh, man. Now, no, I'll, I'll if do I, it. Yeah. If I take this piece, mm -hmm. and let me stack this. Basically, I took that part that we actually took the pieces off of, and I'm going to stack this up as like a cylinder. And how this works, I don't know because this is uh, not something planned. And I want to try something right quick. I'm just stacking, stacking, stacking. And I just took the, the top section from this double stack that he put over here. That should just about be enough, I think. Um, let's do that that little cutty thing over here again with the deletion tool. I don't know, something like this. Let's just make a bunch of holes and uh, yeah, go for it. Give it a nice color as well. Yeah. Something like this, maybe, I don't know, some pokey dotty holes or something, and uh, it's, 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 and we do like a, make us a, 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 a diagonal cut as well. All right, I want to see what I can do here. I ain't no promises, but we're going to do something. Hit F, by the way. <clears throat> is if I can get this thing lined up without falling off the edge of my claim. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like right behind me, guys. <laughs> so, okay. I got something decent there. You got it? Okay. Yeah. Just I, a sec. Cause I want to see what you... I have I have this trick I learned way back in the day from uh, uh, Bride. Uh -huh. And it's uh, if you... I got a little bit of artifacting here, but we might be able to just clean that out. I'm not sure. Hold on a second. Let me back this up. What the? Oh, it, it put back what I had done. Mm hmm. Look, what? Look at this, dude. What's up? How was that even possible? I have no idea. How is that possible, guys? I have never seen that happen. He interacted with the voxels that were there. Thus, I shouldn't be able to do a control Z. But the stuff that I did interact with, the control Z, is refilling in. I've never been able to do that before. This is what you wanted to do, right? Hopefully you got a copy of it already. Yeah, I wanted to paste that in. Yeah, look at that. Right up against the surface. Look at that. Now, you can do another thing, but it's it's still a bit 
it's not super clean, but it's cool to use, and you can use it for any mm-hmm. anything. I think it's a cool technique, and I don't know. I'm just going to show it because other people, I think other people should know what you can do with panels apart from using it as a panel. Because what you could do, Mm -hmm. if you stack two together and then use one of the uh, panels as a top layer, it snaps towards that layer. So you get a angled edge on the outside. If you stand on this side, you can actually see what I did. Uh-huh. Now, we've seen that this sort of thing before because people were making something similar to this into cones. Mm-hmm. I've seen that before. I think Cools was working with stuff like that, and uh, I believe there was uh, one other person. I'm trying to remember yeah. off the top of my head. I learned it from Bright with other panels. Uh-huh. <clears throat> um... Let me get this, because if you stand here now and you get the sun glare on it, you can actually see what happened. Yeah. Now you can show people, if you stand at my place. Yeah, I'm still seeing a little artifact. Yeah, that's right the main the problem top. with this. Yep, you will. But um, it's it's clean, you know, for the most part. I mean... Unless you got right up on it and really started looking at it, you really wouldn't notice it. I mean, from back here, I'm not noticing the artifacting is bad. Unless I get right up on it or whatever. Like right here, you can see the artifacting going on right there. Yeah, yeah, I see it. And there. But uh, you don't really see it from over here. So that's not bad. <clears throat> not bad at all. I like that. <laughs> This is a special broadcast, by the way, guys. Uh, I normally do not stream on Mondays, but when people bring me stuff that I I really think is important that really needs to get out there as soon as possible, yeah, I will stream it. And um, Nog Winkle got it with me last night. He was like, dude, check this out. Check this picture out. And I looked at it, and I was like, what the heck is that? You know, but it, it was pretty cool looking. And... Uh, so we're doing this uh, this thing, you know. Um, but man, yeah, like I said, it's a quick tutorial. It won't be a long stream, like an hour or so. But yeah. I just wanted to share this as quick as possible. But because we got this Tuckish thing going on, and I think people might actually want to use this for the Tuckish competition. That solves a lot of problems for certain things, um, for certain curvatures. Uh, like curved walls and stuff like that that's pretty cool you know if you if you know exactly what diameter something is then you're pretty much set like uh, if I we already know that this is an even circle okay yep. we know that this here from here to here let's see what is this no, if you make an even orb, you get an uneven circle. If you make a make an uneven orb, you get an uneven an even circle. That's the math. Okay. Well, because I, I made a thirty nine here. Okay, I see where you, I see where you're coming from. I see where you're coming from. That's weird. Yeah, it is. But you're able to work with this. This is a. Uh, what would be the equivalent of a 41 unit, even though he made the circle itself out of a 60, if I remember correctly. Yep. Right? Yep. Now, if I take, um, let's make a 41. I made a 39 here. I'm, I'm making the uh, center centers for you so you can actually see the quarter slides of it. Okay. Well, I, I, I want to do something right quick, if you can bear mm-hmm. with me. Go for it. Yeah, go um, for it. I'll prepare this one. I'm going to make a big block. Something like this. Let's make this out of, uh, I don't know, this right here. Oh, and Karen, <clears throat> um, um, uh, Astri from LaForge is already working on the board for everyone. Oh, it will be available on this swap.
So that's really cool. Well, I may make one too. <laughs> I just want to let you know that. Colossus one. <laughs> just because. You. I can. <laughs> I, got, I got some ideas. All right, so I'm going to make a 41 cut. Like this. Bam. Oops. What happened if I went to deletion mode, right? 41 cut. I'm going to copy the top. Copy. Paste. And this is an experimentation, so if it totally flops, oops, but still. Now the smallest I've gone today was around 14, and it was kind of clean because at some sizes you get these triangle inputs in towards the uh, in towards the uh, circle, mm -hmm. and um, if you get that, if you get a circle that isn't uh, completely filled, you can use Nyquist's board to actually fill the gap between the two voxels. Just line the, the part up that is broken to fix it. All right. So I can show you the old technique uh, Shatari learned me at, at first, and that tends to create some uh, gaps between the uh, cloth uh, panel. Okay. Trying to make this process a little quicker here, but uh, what I am attempting to do here is go ahead and make a cylinder that is exactly the size of what we need for the curve that you made earlier. Mm -hmm. And if I do this right, let's see, we want pretty much one half of it. So if I take one half. trying to give some uses for what what this is for the most part so if I take one half of this or something the equivalent of like one half mm -hmm. I copy this I come over to this circle and we'll see if this will fit in there ain't no promises because like I said I haven't tested this Me but neither. um See, this circle is bigger than than the whole. What is that? That should not be the case because I got the sizing. Why is that? It's still on evens. Is it? Yeah. That's what I'm looking at. Oh, hmm. I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Idea. <clears throat> we take the original uh, sphere sizing mm -hmm. from over here. I'm just going to take the sphere itself. That we actually originally you know used and if I take this whole section I fill it in I now take that curve put it over to the edge drop it down and use it as my delete tool If I can get it back aligned again. Hold up. This should technically, this is what I should have done in the first place.
go ahead and grab this top section. So now we have a curve that is exactly the same size. Now if I take that shaping that we used earlier, let's just, let's just take this whole thing again. Let's paint the whole thing the same color. Something like this. I should be able to implant this into a uh, cutout section as well. And it fit. Yep, you can. So, so not only is it going to work on the outside, but it'll work on the inside of a curve as well in yep. the reverse fashion. And mm -hmm. if we kind of zoom in on this, it's actually got a small little edge to it, even though it's mm -hmm. super thin. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Now what you got going? Show me. Show me, show me, show me. Oh, I already deleted it. Dig it. No, it wasn't. Oh. Uh, it wasn't. The mistake wasn't made uh, like I wanted it to be. <laughs> okay. So it's 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 it was a clean cut. <laughs> but this 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 just works better by just. I will go through the steps one more time for anyone who just hopped in. Okay. And uh, we'll go to here so we have some lighting and people actually see it what we're doing. All right. Let me so, get, get over to where you're at. Yeah, you do it, cause, cause do it, oh, be do it from my end. Well. Okay. Yeah, so they can actually see it. Okay, so we're gonna use your add tool. No specials or anything like that. We can use almost any size circle that you wish. But the idea here is we're just gonna put it on the surface. Let's let's do a forty this time. Will it work? Yes, it will. Work. Okay, so we're gonna use the add tool, and I got a big ball of gold uh, put down on here. But what we're gonna do is take our selection tool and select just the top portion that we wish to use. Is there any depth that I need to be aware of? No, just make sure it's on a nice curve. Don't go in too deep because it won't pull down the actual panel. It will pull down the actual panel, but it won't be uh, clean all around. You will have missing gaps. Okay. So I've got a selection here at the top. I've just got the first five like voxel units here. And I just want to pull out a cutoff section on the interior of it. We're going to copy it. Control C. Control V to paste. I'm going to paste. Drop it down one voxel under that. One voxel. Yep. And we're going to paste again. Now, did you use your delete key or your deletion tool? Because this looks a bit not clean. I think you used your delete key, and it's the delete tool you need to use. I copied. No, don't copy it. You okay. have to. Z. Oh yeah. Ooh, do ooh. You ooh. have to delete You're right. the top part. I messed up. Sorry. <laughs> this control. That's Z why back I wanted out. you to do it again. Because if I do it, okay. I'll go through it really quick, and now people can actually see what's happening. Okay, let's back up again. <laughs> I'm learning this too, guys. <laughs> this is great, right? Okay, we got the top five voxels here. It doesn't. It can actually go a little bit deeper. Uh, you don't want to go too deep, apparently. But um, oh. we want it right here at the top. We're going to use our delete tool, not the delete key, 
to delete the top. Now go back to the selection and go all the way down and drop it that down into that first uh, set of voxels that is uh, remaining. Mm -hmm. Control C, Control V. We're gonna paste it once. Without air. Without air. Drop down one voxel and paste again. See, that looks better, don't it? You're right. Yep, that's okay. it. Okay, now, what we're after is this top section here. Now, you can copy it off of this. Hopefully, I can get my mouse onto it here. Straight across. Let's drag this open. Let's drag this open. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. And this is what remains. Now, what we have created is basically a bunch of flat panels. I don't know <laughs> how it happened, but it's I've never noticed it before. But uh, if you take your uh, your paint tool and let's get our sizing back down it to it. Period on your keyboard, Tema. No. Yeah, you don't have to scroll all the way to uh, RSI. Uh... Then I have to walk <laughs> really, really slow, and I hate that. Okay, let me grab uh, grab this white color stuff here. And here, if you notice, I'm painting the outside of this. But look really close. It, these are flat panels. On the outside of this this round circle so now we can come in here copy and then paste right above it and do this pretty much all the way around yeah and we're pasting it uh, just above it because um you can actually see where you were working at. Okay. But this would actually work really good for um, uh, making flags and stuff. Yeah, sails, flags, kites, whatever you want. Is this is this how you did your uh, pirate flag? Not yet. The, those are uh, old cloth boards. I have to redo my uh, pirate ship with the flags and stuff, so... My uh, ship is going to one of our guild members, and I'm going to start a new pirate ship. Wow. This is, uh, man, pretty cool stuff here, to dude. It looks sick with painted as water. You can actually get, like, this hologram-like stuff. You and, and, you, and Shatari, you and Shatari have totally outdone yourself with this. <laughs> Shatari outdone himself. So all the credits to Shatari. I'm serious. Uh, so, I'm just here the guy to bring the message. So when I put this up on YouTube, what do y'all want to call this? Curved panels. Curved panels. Or uh, call it uh, uh, cloth panels 2.0 or something. Curved. The easy way with big letters. <laughs> Curved thin panels. How's yeah. that? Yeah, that's nice. Curved thin panels. This that sounds like a good name. Should be easy to kind of point out. Curved thin panels. So definitely, uh, when I get this up on YouTube, feel free to come back and rewatch um, to watch me screw it up. Watch Not Winkle master it, and um, freaking awesome. Awesome technique, Shatari. You, it's freaking awesome. And definitely, if you, any of the watchers, have come up with something that is pretty much groundbreaking and you've never seen it before done, freaking get up with me. We will get you on the show and you can walk us through it. Oh, and I just got a mail from... Um... Spider Ross, mm -hmm. he already made a, uh, uh, a size 10 flat circle. 
I wow. was able to go to 14, and uh, he just uh, created a uh, 10. Awesome. So it's over here. So it's see if you play around with it and give people stuffs, <laughs> it's going to work, and it's pretty clean. I like it. Man, this I mean that right there screams what you what you could do with it in sci-fi. I mean, mm -hmm. um, you can make teleporters and stuff yeah. like that. It's just amazing. It looks like the rings that came down in uh, Stargate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I used uh, uh, De Devlin asked if I wanted to use uh, the water texture on one. It's here. Okay. And it dances. That would really be pretty cool. I still say we need colored water. And this is a good prime example of that. A flag. Oh, yes. You make this type of stuff in colored water, you can make a flag. You can make flags, tents, kites, sails, uh, make huge television screens out of it like those curved HD things. Uh, you can make a, uh, a sci-fi computer table with... Uh, planets on it and little lights in it. Uh, you can make uh, teleporters out of it. You can use it for anything you want. And if you got some cool pillars in your building, but you want to get like a super cool intricate uh, design on the pillar itself, like a golden trim along the side, you can use this and and stick this around your pillar with with gold and stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, it, well. Color water has been one of those things I, I would have loved to have seen for a long time because, you know, putting regular water down in the sewers, just don't cut it. No. We need some puke colors and stuff, but yeah. Different story, different day, all that kind of good We're stuff. We're all happy now today. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy. I mean, this this yeah. is wicked, dude. Yeah, this is awesome. Um, thank you, dude. This is... Uh, thank you for having me. Freaking awesome, and thanks to everybody for coming and checking this out. Uh, I'll get this pushed out to YouTube as soon as possible. Um, definitely, if you've got something uh, that uh, you really want to come and, and do it on the show and explain to everybody how to do something, um, that's kind of what I that's what I like doing here. So, um, you know, definitely contact me or contact one of my moderators, uh, Katina, Karain, Eowyn. Nobby, you know, any of these guys, they know how to get up with me. Um, or come and join us in our team speak. So, um, with that, uh, I think that's going to be the end of the show today. I mean, that, yeah. that's why what we came on. This is a special show, exactly. and um, yeah. you know, I like doing something different. And Nobby hit me up and punched me right square in the face yesterday with this. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, thanks again, guys, and um, thanks for coming and hanging out with us. It's been freaking awesome, and um, yeah, definitely check out the YouTube channel. Uh, I should have this up in probably around 20, 30 minutes-ish, something like that. And uh, we'll see you guys next time, and I will be on uh, streaming uh, tomorrow, Later, right guys. after Geo tomorrow at uh, 12 o'clock Eastern. And uh, Excellent. See you guys later. Bye.